Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And my name is Eric and I'm your local Flagstaff Realtor. And today I'm gonna to be doing a video on another neighborhood review. And in this video, I'll be talking about the South Side. So out of all the neighborhoods in Flagstaff, I gotta say Southside is the most unique, diverse neighborhood that there is. When you think about the Southside, you think about commercial, you think about residential, multifamily, student housing, you think of the university, you think of downtown. Um, so when you're thinking about the Flagstaff Southside neighborhood, you gotta think about it geographically first. And so, most people when they refer to the south side what they're talking about is think about downtown flagstaff and the railroad tracks route 66 kind of splits right the heart of downtown anything south of that that is what is considered the south side and so from route 66 and the railroad tracks take that south and all the way down to the university uh, the border there for nau now on the other sides from your east and west, your west side is probably gonna be the borderline of South Milton Road, the main drag that goes through Flagstaff. And then to the east out to probably Lone Tree, Lone Tree Avenue. So within that block from Route 66 to the border of NAU, from South Milton Road to Lone Tree Avenue, that is what's considered with the south side. Now you have a combination of the south side of downtown and you also have uh, the combination of the residential area, uh, the commercial buildings that are mixed in within that. So when I moved to Flagstaff in 2007, the South Side was really not a place that a lot of people wanted to go to. It really wasn't, uh, it was the, the worst part of downtown, so to say. Um, and it's the, the city has done a, a tremendous job, the business owners, the local residents, they've done just a tremendous job in building up the South Side. And now it's, it's one of the prime locations um, in Flagstaff, really. And when you think about the diversity of the South Side, it really is a combination of, you have houses that have been, you know, that were built there in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. Um, you have some of those houses that have been torn down and now you have uh, multi-unit brand new structures that look beautiful. You have um, breweries, you have yoga studios, you have coffee shops, um, churches, you name it it's all mixed in there within the south side. So you have residents that, you know, have lived in a house for 50 years because it's been passed from one generation to the next. Next door to that, you could have a four-story new student high-rise um, or multi-level building, you know, four levels, and it's rented out by all students. And next door to that, you could have a church. Uh, next door to that, you could have uh, a bank. Um, so it, it's really kind of eclectic, I would say kind of more hipsterish in terms of neighborhoods, um, but it's really a cool place to be, a cool place to hang out. And, you know, I would say it's geared more towards uh, a younger couple, younger professionals um, in that sense, because you're going to be mixed with a lot of students uh, from the university. Um, so if, if you're a young family and you've got young kids and uh, you want it quiet at night, it's probably not the best place to be uh, because you will have... Um, you know, foot traffic coming from downtown in the bar area. And during the daytime, you'll have foot traffic coming in and off from the university. So a uh, good mix there. Um, but, you know, definitely if you're a young professional, if you're just starting out, it's probably uh, a really cool place to be. When it comes to pricing, you know, nothing's really cheap in Flagstaff. Um, it's gonna be hard to get into a single family residence in the Southside neighborhood. If you're looking to get into something like that, you're probably gonna be more around the, at the very low $400,000 range. And that's something that, you know, was built decades ago. That's probably gonna need some work. Um, and then, you know, the prices go up from there, whether you want a single family home, whether you wanna buy a condo, or unless you want to, um, you know, get into a large multifamily unit, then your, your prices are definitely gonna go up from there. But there's a lot of, um, a lot of different selections that are out there, a lot of variety of housing. So the opportunities uh, for you to get into something on the south side is, is fairly easy in terms of if you're flexible for what you're looking for. Also in the south side, there's a lot of opportunity for fixer uppers. Like I said, some of these houses are pretty old. They haven't been taken care of very well. And so you've seen some investors, developers come in and buy some of these homes that are just on their last leg. 
tear them down and buy or, and build some newer, higher, um, multi-level units, multi-unit uh, complexes, and or, or just single-family homes, and definitely helping the neighborhoods raise up the value. Um, so if you're looking for something like that, that's this is definitely a neighborhood to get into. And what's going to hold that value is the south side has really come up. I mean, the, the restaurants are really, some of the better restaurants are on the south side, your breweries, your coffee shops, um, your bakeries, um, you know, it's all within walking distance. So that's what's really cool. It's going to hold value for a long time, especially being just blocks from the university. So you see a lot of these, these houses um, that do go up for sale. Uh, you know people are trying to get into there because you know this is a location that's never that's never going to be in a bad spot i mean you can walk to downtown you can walk to all the shops and, and things that you want to do entertainment wise you can walk to the university so uh, location is everything with the south side so if you're moving to flagstaff and you want kind of that hipster hipster vibe you kind of want you know something where you can walk to the coffee shops you can walk to a bar um, or you can walk to the university or maybe have it as a full-time rental. That's uh, always gonna hold its value. The South Side is the place to be. It's, uh, it's a cool place. Um, you've got just such a diversity of people, all ages, all uh, economic groups. So, um, you know, it, it's a really cool place to be, especially for young professionals as well. So if you're looking for that type of vibe, the South Side is a place that you definitely wanna check out. And again, if you ever have any questions on real estate, neighborhoods, investing in Flagstaff, give me a call. I'm uh, your local realtor here and I'll be happy to help you out in any way that I can. Email me, text me, call me, leave a comment uh, below, whatever the case may be. And I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, appreciate you.